This video will explain how to calculate catch per unit effort for different gear types and why this is important. If you are unsure of what an index is, I've linked another video above. So in its simplest form, catch per unit effort is simply the amount of fish caught divided by some unit of effort. Depending on the characteristics of the fishery and the available data, this index may also be standardised by the inclusion of fish length or age or expanded into a more complex model. The unit of effort will vary by gear type. For example, it is common for longline fishery stock assessments to consider the number of hooks and the length of time that the hooks are deployed for. Similarly, trap fisheries tend to also divide by either the number of pots set and or the duration. Soap time is used again for gill net fisheries, but if the type or way of setting the nets varies a lot between fishers, then the area or size of each net and also the number of sets may also be included. Purse seen fisheries tend to use the number of sets as the unit of effort, and lastly trawl fisheries use the swept area as the unit of effort. To highlight the importance of accounting for effort in any kind of fishery data, I will quickly use the example of the big eye tuna Persine fishery. So, this data is for the fishery in the area covered by the Western and Central Pacific Fisheries Commission RFMO, and it clearly shows an overall increase in tuna landing since 1970, but with a peak in 1997. However, on its own, this data doesn't tell us much about the state of the stock. By plotting effort over time, we see that there is also a peak in 1997, and this correlates with the peak in landings that we previously saw. But instead of reducing after this, the general trend in the number of Persine sets continues to increase. By combining both catch and effort data, we clearly see that after peaking in 1990, catch per unit effort has declined. The initial increase in CPUE since 1970 can be attributed to increasingly powerful boats and improved gear catching efficiency. However, since the tuna fleet has not declined in fishing efficiency since 1990, it is likely this decline in catch per unit effort is due to a reduction in the size of the big eye tuna stock. So that was a quick summary on how to calculate catch per unit effort and why it is important. I have linked to the data I used to make these graphs in the description in case you wanted to try calculating these for yourself. Thanks for watching.